one. I just upgraded, and it was free, updated, upgraded, my PHP to my WordPress website that is hosted by GoDaddy. And I, a, um, a warning came up and told me to create a staging um, WordPress website of my production WordPress website. It's a clone. And I'm really happy that I took the time to find out about it and learn. I'm signed into my account and I'm signed into my overview area. And when you're here, you click on staging. And an option will come up asking you if you want to create a staging WordPress website. And I'm going to click on this. I'm going to right click on it. So I want to show you something. I already did it. But it's still good to inform you. It was very important that I did that before I did the upgrade because the up two reasons. Something can happen when you are upgrading and it prevents your site from being down. You can work on the staging and then turn it into a production or you could turn a production into a staging site so your site's never down. I hope you understand that. Right here it says, I had to do it to understand it. And I went, there you go, I get it. This is a staging site. But you can, you know, put it either, either way as you want it. You could go, you know, create a production to staging, a staging to a production. A lot of people feel that you shouldn't go from staging to production, but the options there, if, you, if anything ever really goes wrong, it's good to know you have a staging site. This is something you should do sometimes. You do a lot of work to your, your WordPress website. You want to have a clone of it. It's a good backup. It's an additional backup, the way I see it. So after you create a staging site, you just follow the instructions it's only a couple of clicks. You sync them. So they're together. I'll, I'll sync it. Push staging to production. Yes. But you can also pull production to staging. You have the choice. Take the time to watch some other YouTube videos on this. I watched the video and I said I'm really grateful that the warning came up because that would have been a big no-no for me just to say, sure, upgrade to the latest version. I went from 5.6 PHP to 7.2. Well, I needed to know I had a backup, a clone of my WordPress PHP because if anything went wrong, at least I have a backup. It's, it's an exact, it's a replica. So take the time to watch some videos. Good luck to you folks. And then you click sync. I'll sync it again, even though I did it already. So there you go. I hope this helps you continue to learn how to protect the work you put so much time into. No, learn how to use a backup. Learn how to create staging clone websites. Back yourself up. You don't want to lose your work. Good luck everyone. And, join, and visit the link below if you like to host a WordPress website through GoDaddy. They have made it so easy for me to push forward. Their customer service they don't help you develop the site, but they guide you how to use the back end of 
the WordPress underneath their GoDaddy hosting account. I, if it wasn't for them, I would have never made it this far. And I continue to learn. Good luck, everyone. Bye-bye.